Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome to an all-new Let's Play. After the failure of Blood Omen, let's uh, continue on and get the series over with, sort of. This one's a lot better. I actually enjoyed playing this one. I remember playing the other one, but I can see why I didn't get very far before I just got frustrated. Also, tried playing it with and without recording in some other settings, and the game never really speeds up, so there's no way to speed up that one. I've done a whole bunch of tests with this one. Hopefully it all works out. I also have a new controller, which I'm going to test out. Which, let me see what's going on here. Oh, well, that's probably why. Might help if I actually press the start button. So let's hope the sound doesn't skip. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once. As were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razio, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. Over time, we became less human and more... divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. Why would you care about wings when you can turn into a bat? I mean, seriously, who cares? For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. only one possible outcome. My eternal damnation. I, Razio, was to suffer the fate of traitors and weaklings, to burn forever in the bowels of the Lake of the Dead. Cast him in. You had to wait for the menu to load for that option. Burning with white hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. Also, it doesn't make sense why his jaw wasn't, like, attached. Especially if he has fingers. It doesn't make sense. Like, if they tore his jaw off and threw him in there, that would make sense. But... They didn't. I know you, Razier. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. Did not survive the abyss, Razier. I have only spared you from total dissolution. 
I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. So you over. are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. My angel of death. We've got a title. Game over. We've got a title. Let's see, is there a way to switch away from using? I guess not. I guess I have to use the D-pad. Although that might be actually a little better. Jump. Suck. Crouch. Turn camera. Ugh, they have opposite turn camera. Terrible. And I have to use the D-pad. Luckily, this is actually a pretty good D-pad. Uh, it's not a rocker switch or anything like that. It's literally like like four buttons um, and diagonals. So it's more like a like a PlayStation controller, which I could deal with. These gates twist space, laying a path across great spans. Yeah, it's a teleporter. Got it. Um, so yeah, I fixed the sound and everything, so now, unlike my stream of this, I should have clear sound, clear video, no issue. We're gonna go this way first. Ugh, reverse camera. I think I complained about that before. Uh, not having an option to change your camera or controls, or use analog stick is really weird, even for the time that this came out. Like, the dog bone controller would have been long since gone. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. You are changed. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. To sustain your strength, you must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. At least the sound sounds a little closer. It doesn't sound great though, but it's better than the other options, which was sound skipping, sound clipping. Um, also had a lot of issues with uh, the FMVs being off timed, and that was no good. But, I've fixed it now. Hopefully. We'll find out later in the game. No, come on. There we go. Oh, get up there. Your wings, though ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap, and they will carry you across this chasm. Mmm. Things. I do like his little foot slappy sounds. What scabrous wretches are these? Sure, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. Get in my 
Tá lá. Well, there is something else here. It's a shame because the analog sticks don't do anything, which is unfortunate. But eh, you can only do what you can do. No trickery's hiding. I have to get used to the camera. I'm so used to, like the the Shin Megami, where things are reversed or they're unreversed, those kind of things. These portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. Yeah, I had to remember uh, which was which. Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Cool. So, let's head up this way then. Well, I think this is locked. back and then there's things. You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in like water, everything. while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. So don't touch the watery. Still gotta love that little foot slap and hex and door what sounds. Are these creatures. Do you not recognize them? They are the children of your brother, Uma. It's impossible. These foul scuttling beasts could not be king of our high blood. Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Ow. Hold him. Why? Welcome to the sunlight. Unfettered uh, from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly to the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Let's now hold him. Thank you. Let's throw you in the water.
Give me those souls. Is it just gone? I guess it is. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. Let's see, where would we want to move this? I guess back over there. There's probably some secret, like if you leave it somewhere. I'm not really one to really care about all that. So I don't think there's anything anywhere else I can really go. Stop punching the door and open it. Yeah, this game plays a little more similar to like Primal or dare I say it, a Spyro game, which is much, much better. Is there still no way to open this gate? That's because I thought I had to look something up for it last time. There was a way to, like, get up and around the gate. Definitely not jumping. Or you have to wait until you transform back. Yeah, let's just do that. So now we can go in the water. And if we turn the camera, there should be a thing down here. I thought there was a thing down here. Get over here. Can I just suck you? No. Where are you going, you stupid thing? The epic chase of the century. Let's just eat him for sake. I have a feeling that the sound isn't quite good. Such objects are but shadows in the spirit world. That's the suck button. Well, let's go turn back into a squishy meat puppet. Dum -dum -dum. Imagine there's gonna be more than a few times you have to like suicide yourself or go back and forth. Okay. Now that I see where I have to take this. No, what are you doing? Go that way. Happy dance. Happy dance. Skip it, skip. Skip it, skip. The ever classic. As I always think of them, vagrant story puzzles, push block puzzles. No. Jump. Okay. 
I just remember I had lots of control difficulties, and I don't know why. I think it's just the other controller's analog is very touchy. So he'd be like, when I'd like barely touch the stick, which is kind of terrible. Also, God. not birds. The sanctuary of the clans reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the pillars of Nosgul, the seat of King's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. Well, obviously. I also may try another sound emulator. Ordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. We, we got it. Um, because I think that's supposed to be wind sound, but it's coming up kind of hollowy. No, come on. I like how they're, like, supposed to be unconscious, but they still land on their feet. Stop doing that. Uh, no. Uh, throw it. The camera kept like, again, the camera's flipping, and I'm not touching anything. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that's most definitely uh, supposed to be a wind sound, but it's failing. Oh, a Crash Bandicoot gem. I need that. The doors of the sanctuary were immovable, either barred from the inside or rusted shut. I would need to find another means of entry. Yeah. Unless it's supposed to be the fire. No, the fire has its own sound, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be wind. Oh well, we'll suffer through it through this episode. I'll try to find a solution. Just beat him up and run. Again, like most things, is it really even worth the fight? Also, this camera needs to decide what it's doing, because it keeps, like, deciding to do whatever it wants. So it's like, either you have a fixed camera, or you don't. Like, it's one of those, like, make a decision kind of things. Especially in an action game, you should kind of make a decision. Okay. So this is the Temple of the Swirly Door. Now if the 
camera can cooperate with me a little bit, I can throw him, hopefully, into a brazier. Also, the controls are really finicky. Okay, so apparently that doesn't kill him, so let's just leave. Whee! So hopefully I don't get punched out of my... Hey, it's where I died. This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss. My tomb and the wind of my rebirth. Jesus, birds. Though much of Moscot's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. They're all gonna be like bird people that are annoying and swoop on me or something. Probably just change back, but let's Dark Souls it and see how far I can get. Well, that's not good. I don't know why he does that. He, like, automatically does a turnaround. Come on. Okay, so that doesn't kill him. Well, that's just disappointing. Oh, there's a fire over here. Did you just cooperate with me and die? One soul. Oh well. Come on. His soul wasn't very satisfying. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. Actually, poop is pretty hard to get off of a boot. I'm just gonna like put that out there. Can't you find like the holy sword of slice their face off? Wait over here and collect his soul. Where's the other one? I do appreciate that he turns his head to look at them. Can you get over here? Alright. Now, let's... Oh, camera, stop! Ugh. 
Burn in the heretics. All right. Well, I think that's going to be all for this episode of Let's Play Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver. Already going better than before. I'm going to go ahead and look to see if there's a better sound emulator that won't have that weird Sega Genesis sound. But I'll see you in the next episode.